Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this video I'm going to talk about the Snapdragon 660 and the 630 uh, processor SOCs that were just announced by Qualcomm. And we have been hearing about the Snapdragon 660 for almost six months and finally Qualcomm has released this one. And before I talk about the 660 and the 630, uh, let's talk about uh, the uh, 660 and what are the processors that it's going to replace and why. Uh, the 660 is sort of a replacement for the Snapdragon 652 and the 653. If you go back to the 652, uh, though the 652 also was a quad core, uh, octa core processor, that means it has eight cores uh, divided into a uh, quad core, two quad cores. But the problem with the uh, 652 was that it was based on the 28 nanometer architecture, and that was not very efficient. And especially in India, we, it's a very hot country that we uh, we have here. Uh, the uh, many of the phones are tested with the Snapdragon 652 when they were sort of stressed they were heating for example yeah, just yesterday I also uh, reviewed the SRD phone that had the Snapdragon 652 and when you start to push it it tends to heat up the 653 was also launched but this was also not very popular we saw very few phones with the 653 uh, the 653 uses the 20 nanometer architecture it's slight improvement over the 652 but again it was not very popular because manufacturers had the 625 that was based on the 14 nanometer architecture and uh, process sorry and uh, that was very popular if you have uh, in the past six months you have seen tons and tons of phones launching on the 625 because I have to say it was the most efficient processor that Qualcomm had produced till date. That's the reason many manufacturers flocked to the uh, 625 instead of the 652 and the 653. Now let's talk about this Snapdragon 660 and what it brings to the table. And the first improvement is that now the Snapdragon 660 is also based on the 14 nanometer uh, process with FinFET technology. That means it's an extremely uh, power efficient uh, processor. And uh, moving to the uh, processor core, it has the new Qualcomm Cryo 260 uh, architect. It's based on that. And it's also a octa core processor. That means it should be actually very efficient now. Also moving to the GPU, uh, now it has a new GPU that is the Adreno 512 GPU. The 652 and the 653 had the Adreno 510 GPU. And according to Qualcomm, they said that you can see up to 30% improvement in the GPU performance with the Adreno 512 GPU. Now moving to another interesting thing is that uh, the Snapdragon 660 uh, and even the Snapdragon 630 actually uh, support uh, quick uh, charging uh, version 4 which was uh, found on the snapdragon 835 so it supports the new qualcomm quick charging 4 and also it has support for bluetooth 5 that means you can actually pair up to two bluetooth devices simultaneously uh, we saw this first only with the snapdragon 835 for example the samsung galaxy s8 has that feature now we are going to get these features in this mid-range uh, uh, chipset so that's an interesting thing also moving to the uh, modems it has the new x12 lt modem so the Wi-Fi speeds and the radio speed should be faster. Also, in terms of power efficiency, as it's now on the 14 nanometer process, uh, Qualcomm says you can expect power efficiencies up to 50%. So that's an interesting thing. And that is particularly important in a country like India. So I'm hoping that these uh, Snapdragon 660 chipsets, as they are based on 14 nanometer architecture, they should not heat up like the Snapdragon 652 when we are pushing it. And it also has support for dual camera setups up to 16 megapixels. So you, some vendors can actually uh, put in to a dual camera setups and each can have a 16 megapixel sensor so that's also an improvement and uh, regarding the displays uh, the snapdragon 660 will support displays up to quad hd so again i feel uh, the snapdragon 660 uh, would be one of the most interesting mid-range premium uh, chipset that we can get I, and i simply can't wait uh, to see new devices coming out with the same and according to qualcomm they have already started shipping this uh, processor to vendors and we should see uh, devices by end of june or july with snapdragon 660 uh, processors now moving to the snapdragon 630 this is not as exciting as the uh, snapdragon 660 uh, it builds over the snapdragon 625 and 626 uh, still the 630 is based on the 14 nanometer architecture and uh, this is still a octa core processor based on the arm cortex a53 uh, but where it improves is again this one also has the new x12 modem hence the 
Wi-Fi speeds and the radio should be more optimized. And also moving to the GPU, now we have a new GPU on the Snapdragon 630. We have the Adreno 508 GPU. If you recall, the Snapdragon 625 and the 626 had the Adreno 506 GPU. And again, according to Qualcomm, these are almost about 30% faster in GPU performance compared to the older variants. Now, uh, good thing is that even the uh, Snapdragon uh, 630 will get the new Bluetooth 5 and Qualcomm Quick Charging 4 support. And moving to the camera, uh, again, this one also supports dual camera setup and uh, vendors can put uh, dual cameras up to 13 megapixel on the same. And uh, moving to the displays, they haven't bumped up the display specification. The 625 and 626 also supported a max of 1080p display. And even the Snapdragon 630 supports a uh, max of 1080p displays. So these were the uh, things that uh, uh, were there for the Snapdragon 660 and the 630 SoC. Uh, I'm actually very excited to see what vendors will bring out with the Snapdragon 660 because the 660 is going to have the Cryo, uh, Cryo 260 uh, based on that architecture uh, octa-core. That's a very powerful chipset. And I feel uh, using the Snapdragon 660, the performance level should be really good. Uh, but again, as of now, I don't see uh, only, uh, I would say, slightly, uh, the, what do you say, premium mid-range phones might opt for the Snapdragon 660. So again, I'm looking forward to testing new devices that will be coming out with the Snapdragon 660. Again, that's it for now for uh, this video. If you found this uh, video helpful, and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you found this video helpful, I'll appreciate if you can click the like button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.